Hi, I'm Dorian, or Leviathan of my friends, and I'm an eldritch abomination lurking in the corners of your attic. I'm also a digital artist who vaguely knows how hands work. Recently, I asked in my Patreon server what kind of videos people would like to see or would like more of, and one of my patrons suggested a video on how I structure hands. Slight disclaimer though, I don't have a perfect grasp on anatomy. Some of the things I do might be wrong, and I definitely don't know the full names for everything in a hand or on a hand, but I do my best and this will just be stylistically how I do things. So yeah, let's get into them hands. Ugh. That was awful. I'm so sorry. First and foremost, guys, always use your references. Always. If you have issues, say with memory, or if you have uh, different neurodivergent things like autism or ADHD, you might really need to use references, and that is totally okay. I use references all the time. It's not a big deal. So to start off with, I do draw a vaguely square or rectangle shape for the palm at whatever angle that I need. Sometimes it's a little more squished than it needs to be, but it, you get the idea. I do redraw this thumb later because it is truly awful. For fingers, I usually do the, the sort of hot dog or c cylinder um, process where I draw a very simple rectangular or hot dog-esque shape and sometimes I will also section off my fingers knuckle by knuckle which you will see later. I also find like here drawing in the nails really helps me especially in the line art process with the angles. I really do suggest looking at uh, your references and trying to figure out what angle your nail is before you even draw the fingers themselves it might really help you in the end. Now, I draw a lot of prominent knuckles. You'll see me do these two line shapes or V shapes um, to denote where the folds in the fingers are or where you might see the lines of the knuckles. That will not be prominent with everyone. Um, it's more of a stylistic choice for myself. But if you do draw somebody with more fat distribution in their hands, they might not have those prominent knuckle lines. Here, I do redraw that thumb. You'll see more of the trapezoid shape, the triangular trapezoid shape. And then I put this little thumb at the end, which honestly is a little bit of more of a bean shape if you really think about it. So maybe think of beans if you're having trouble with thumb tips. Here we are with one of my favorite angles of all time, a very dramatic hand. I do start off with a square hand, but I do it with uh, more of an angle to it. I will draw a line at the top where the knuckles will go just as a guiding line, and then I will draw the fingers after that. You will really see the way that I section off knuckles knuckle by knuckle, the fingers in this specifically. I've seen people do three sections to their fingers. Normally I do two just for simplification, uh, but you can do as many as you want. Just remember to simplify it down to easy shapes. Here I am with my knuckles as well again. You will need to remember if you're doing this sort of a pose, there will be one finger or a couple fingers even that are more obscured to uh, by the other fingers. This is where the importance of drawing in the nails can really help you as well. The angle of the nails will help you figure out where even like lighting needs to be, shadows and stuff like that. It's just where the angle of the finger is hitting. When I'm drawing fists or more of that folded hand, something is gripping something, I usually start with the pinky or thumb first, depending on what angle I'm getting the hand at. It helps me visualize and 
builds the hand better for some reason. It's probably obvious to most people, but to anyone that needs that pointed out, I usually start with the pinky or the thumb first, not like the middle finger. On the base knuckle, I like to draw a circle sometimes to help me envision where I need to angle the finger or the folds of the skin as well. You'll see me do this sort of V shape, which honestly is just for simplification sake. You don't need to draw every fold in the skin, especially at a sketching stage. If I have a hard time with the rest of the fingers as well, I do go to draw either the thumb or the pinky, whichever I didn't draw first to get a better idea of where I need to put the rest of the fingers. Now we're starting the dreaded hands gripping things. So this is another example of when you're drawing somebody gripping something, you might want to start with the nails first to both get the angle and everything else for drawing the simpler shapes of the fingers. And when I do this type of hand, I simplify it down to a rectangular shape or a square shape. And this might be where I do go into the more one, two, three sort of a process rather than just drawing a one, two a hot dog rectangular situation for the fingers. It just helps me with the angles. Always remember to simplify your shapes once again, especially with harder um, poses like this. Always simple shapes. Remember to look back at your reference and don't be afraid to futz with the hand sketch or the sketch in general either. That's just a big rule all across of doing art. That's really how I draw hands. The rest of it would go into how I line things, which is more of a style thing. Hopefully that was helpful at the very least and you've learned a little bit more. Just remember to use your references. Always futz around with a sketch if you need to. Do not be afraid to adjust anything ever. Let me know if you have any questions though, or if anything was unclear in the comments down below. If you'd like early access to my videos or a special thank you at the end of them with your name or want to suggest video topics, go ahead and check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description box. You can get other cool stuff like high-res art, access to my full whips as well that I don't post online or even stickers and a print every month and a sketch monthly of your Blorbo. Special thank you to The Coffee Rain, Meg, Anonbi, Peach and Milk, Will, Nyruz, Court, Ghost, Hatter and Holmes, Isabella, Redeemer of Bad Himbos, Robin, Royal Rat, Vicarian's Babe, Mushroomy Tass, Wick, Delphinian Drow, Little Starlight, Impossible Rat Babies, Jordan TM, Worcestershire Sauce, Pally Punk, Fluffy Bunny Bottoms, Austin, Night Margie, Team Talltale, Bunny, Lux Coffin, CJ, Harley, Silas, Sunny, and Latinors.